Welcome to the web tutorial identifying analytic samples in NHATS. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will begin by explaining why most research with NHATS begins with the identification of an analytic sample. We will then introduce the ResID variable. Finally, we will provide examples and guidance on how to use the ResID variable to identify an analytic sample in NHATS. NHATS has multiple types of interviews or components. In order to be considered a respondent to NHATS, at least one component must be complete. NHATS also represents sample persons, or SPs, in different types of settings, the traditional community setting, nursing home settings, and residential care settings other than nursing home settings. Depending on the type of setting and the round, SPs may be eligible for different components. Because the NHATS sample person file combines individuals from different types of settings with different completed components, most of the time researchers will want to identify the subset of cases that meet their analytic needs. Researchers need to consider two issues when first identifying an analytic sample. First, what residential settings are of interest? And two, for whom is the information of interest available? Identifying the analytic sample properly is important because it yields the correct sample size for reporting purposes and the correct sample composition for statements of generalizability of findings. Let's take a look at a few common analytic samples. Here are four common examples of research topics, each of which requires a different analytic sample. Researchers may be interested in characteristics of SPs living in all settings, including nursing homes, or they may be interested in characteristics of SPs living in settings other than nursing homes, but including residential care settings. Researchers may be interested in characteristics of SPs living in just the community, that is, not in residential care and not in nursing home settings. Finally, there may be an interest in describing characteristics of sample persons who are identified as deceased in a given round or for a given year, that is, across multiple rounds. Each of these analytic samples can be identified using the variable R pound D R E S I D or ResID. The ResID variable is located on the SP file and is available each round for SPs with at least one completed NHATS component. ResID incorporates information on the completed components of the interview and whether the SP lives in the community, a nursing home setting, or another residential care setting. In round one, there are four codes for ResID. One means the SP lives in the community. Two means the SP lives in a residential care setting other than a nursing home and has a complete SP interview. Three means the SP lives in a residential care setting other than a nursing home, but only has a FQ or facilities questionnaire completed. Cases assigned three in round one are never eligible for an SP interview. Four means the SP lives in a nursing home setting and only has an FQ completed. Cases assigned four in round one are never eligible for an SP interview. In rounds two and later, an expanded set of variables is available for the ResID variable. A code of one, community resident, and a code of two, residential care case with the completed SP interview, take on the same meaning as in round one. In addition, four new codes appear beginning in round two. Code three means that the sample person resided in residential care but only had an FQ or facilities questionnaire, and when they entered NHATS, they had an SP interview. Codes four and five identify individuals who transferred into a nursing home setting after they entered NHATS. Code four means they completed an SP interview, and code five means that they only had an FQ interview. Code six indicates a deceased SP with a completed last month of life interview. Cases that were code 3 in round 1 are coded 7 in subsequent rounds. These are residential care cases that only had an FQ in round 1 and were never eligible for an SP interview. And cases that were code 4 in round 1 are coded 8 in subsequent rounds. These are nursing home cases that had only an FQ in round 1 and were never eligible for an SP interview. Let's turn back to the four common analytic samples and see how we can use ResID to identify each sample of interest. Focusing on the first row, a sample of SPs living in all settings, including nursing homes, have ResIDs equal to one, two, or four in round one, or one, two, four, or eight in round two and later. Let's review why this is the case. 
Let's start with the groups to be included in this analytic sample. The ones in all rounds are living in the community and have a completed SP interview. The twos in all rounds are living in residential care other than nursing home settings and have a completed SP interview. The fours in round two or later moved into a nursing home after their initial round and have a completed SP interview. The fours in round one and eights in round two or later were living in a nursing home at the time that they entered NHATS and were not eligible for an SP interview. But they are included here because some researchers may want to include these cases for estimates of late life disability or residential care. Now let's review the groups to be omitted from this analytic sample. The threes in round one and the threes, fives, and sevens in round two or later are omitted because they were eligible for and did not complete an SP interview. Note that their analytic weights have been set to zero and they are represented by other cases in the sample with SP interviews. In addition, in round two or later, the sixes are omitted because they are deceased. Let's take a look at the next example. A sample of SPs living in settings other than nursing homes has res ID equal to one or two in all rounds. A sample of SPs living in the community that is not in residential care or in nursing home settings has a res ID equal to one in all rounds. Finally, a sample of deceased SPs identified in a given round has res ID equal to six. Note, to find all cases dying in a given year, researchers need to pool deaths across multiple rounds and use year of death from the sensitive file to further restrict the file. Because NHATS has a complex sample design, we recommend using survey design adjusted commands to analyze these data. As such, rather than dropping cases to form an analytic sample, users should create a dummy variable to identify the analytic sample and use this variable with the appropriate subpopulation option. In Stata, use this variable in the subpop option in SVY commands. In SAS, use this variable in the domain statement with survey procedures. This tutorial was produced by Vicki Friedman, Menyao Hu, and Sarah Patterson with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the Creating Analytic Samples with NHATS web tutorial. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.